they call me ranch because I was dressing in this picture. I don't look homely, but like something's not like, I'm not agreeing with something. When I look at this, I scream because I'm like, dang, bro, like, dang. This is why guys ain't like you in school. Your favorite church girl who's going to church to read her Bible. I did used to have the transition glasses. Shout out to those. You really thought you was that girl when you, I rock the air apostle. So I, it's like a whirlwind of emotions at this point. I don't even know what to say. This was just a simpler time when like life was just so, carefree and easy and I probably went to go watch That's a Raven after this gold polo and I was wearing the navy dress because like I said I was dressing I literally would still be like I don't like my nose I hate my nose so <laughs> I really don't want to start crying <laughs> Welcome back to another video on Chasing Christina. Welcome back to my Chanel. Um, so it's been a minute since I have done a sit down video and this is actually my first time doing a sit down video in my new room, in my new house. This video is going to hopefully be super fun, funny, entertaining, reacting to old pictures of myself. We're going to take it back to 1998. We're probably gonna, I don't know if it'll be in order. I will definitely try to make sure all the pictures are in order with the video so it's not confusing. But we're gonna start off with me as a baby to me, well not baby, but like, yeah, I think I have like one baby picture in here, to probably like 10th grade in high school. Do I think I had a glow up? I don't know, only because there's some days where I'd be looking a little bit wonky, so, I think that I developed properly like into my own self if I can say that but I don't think I had like one of those crazy gloves like I did used to have the transition glasses shout out to those you really thought you was that girl when you had transitions I rock the air apostle so I definitely in my genre in my genre in the era at the time I thought I was in and then I look back on it and I wasn't so but I'm gonna stop all this talk. If you are not subscribed, subscribe now. If you like this video, like it, comment down below, turn your post notifications when I'm getting texts right now. Yeah, let's get started with this video. All right guys, so most of these pictures came from Instagram or like, um, actually me and my mom were looking through an old camera a couple days ago and found some really old pictures of me. So this first one, I'm, I turned two here. And yeah, I just think this is a cute picture. Like, I don't know, I would put this on a little shirt or something. Like, my teeth is nice. Um, I got the same smile. Um, yeah, the thing that geeks with this picture, and the reason I really wanted to use it was my mom made double eggs and cupcakes. I just think that's funny to me, like, such a staple. Easy birthday. But I look so happy. And my plaid skirt, that's another thing. I was dressing as a child, no days off, with my Barney napkins. I had no days off. So, um, yeah, that's that picture. I think it's so cute. This next picture, I love because I was dressing. They call me ranch because I was dressing in this picture. Like, well, my mom was dressing me, but I was, look at this sweatsuit. I kind of wish, I think I actually have no sense of style now, but back then I was, I was, yeah. Yeah, look at me, flexing in my DuPont raceway track suit. I look cute. Yeah, this all these pictures were in Germany too, like of me, like as a young. You know how when people audition on shows and they're like, "Oh, I was singing since I was three. I actually was singing since I was a kid, like, in the church choir. I look at me, singing my little heart out. But yeah, this is so cute in the little church choir. Oh, and this last one of me as a kid. I think this is very personality of me. I feel like I was always a cool little kid. Like I'm, my mom didn't seem like she had problems with me as a child. So this picture is really cute of me. Like, mom. And I know she didn't tell me to do that, so I'm just like, rock on, dude. I was cute. All right, guys. Now let's start crying. Let's get into the sad ones. Um, <clears throat> okay, I'ma paint the scene for y'all because I remember this picture perfectly. I don't really remember it perfectly like that, but I just know the mood right now that was that is being set. Close your eyes, I'm about to paint a picture for y'all. Close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. So I got off the school bus Fourth grade, I know this is fourth grade because that's when they implemented the school uniforms in Georgia. At my school, you had the gold polo and I was wearing the navy dress because like I said, I was dressing ranch. So literally, bruh, 
And you know how I know it was a good day? Because my hair a mess. That's how I know it was a good day. When you got off that school bus and you had fun in the playground and your hair a mess coming out your ponytail. And look at me cheesing. Boy, you, mm. <laughs> you know, life's not really hard right now. Like, I don't want to say life is hard. But, you know, like, I kind of miss, like, when we were kids. I feel like everybody kind of misses this. Like, when we were kids, like, this right here, I wish I could just go back to this day and just, I'm dying eggs for Easter. That's what it looks like with the vinegar. Yeah, I can tell I'm dying eggs next to Elijah. But I was just, ha I'm very happy now. Like, I don't want this to sound like a sap story. I'm very happy now. But, like, this was just a simpler time when, like, life was just so carefree and easy and I probably want to go watch That's So Raven after this and I'm just cheesing in my school uniform and now I'm filming a YouTube video so like again life is good I'm not complaining but like this was just a really good time man man life as a kid hands down was so much fun and if I could go back to this day I would in a heartbeat in a heartbeat I come back but I just go back for a day but yeah I had to do that that was really like sentimentally deep I was not expecting that but yeah, bro, that was wild. All right, next picture. The camera sent this to me and was like, please include this in the video because I guess she wants to Joan. So, like, this picture is funny. This is 2005. I just think those school pictures are just so iconic. Like, this is such an iconic school picture. I asked my mom, why did she send me to school looking? I'm assuming I had plaids in my head and they were, like, braided into a fishtail braid. <laughs> the more I la look at it, the weaker I get. I'm trying to recreate all these. This is so funny. Wow, my eyebrows was, my eyebrows are still a mess. Growth. We love growth. We love good growth. All right, another school picture. This was from a middle school. You know, the, I think the coolest part about this for me is looking at my outfits because I remember these outfits like the back of my hand. Like these, this is so funny because I remember it, this is a dress I have on and I'm just like, I just look chunky. Like I, you see how skinny I was in that last one? Then I'm big and it, it's just, it's like a whirlwind of emotions at this point. I don't even know what to say. Um, it's just a whirlwind of emotions. Again, school uniform on a hunnit, a hunnit. Girl had on the khaki skirt with the navy polo tucked in. White sauce with my black, black little church looking shoes. And I'm pretty sure my mom just went, Christina. And I was like, Meh. you know, that's what it looks like. It looks, yep, that's. I'm trying to recreate it. That's what it looks what I was looks like what I was doing. But yep, that was in Georgia. That was like fifth grade, I think. I ate a cupcake. So I hope there's no cupcake crumbs on my lips. That's gonna be really embarrassing when I look back at this. Alright. So this next picture is this one. See, when I was looking through these, I was like, Mom, I looked anorexic. Like, and she's like, Christina, you were eating. Like my I just look, I don't know. I don't look homely, but like something's not like I'm not agreeing with something. But look at my room though. I was I'm still a Jesus lover. I wish I, I wish I have a cross here somewhere. My cross, my princess. Like that's how like I probably was on my princess that I was very spoiled. I still am. And yep. Yeah, I remember that shirt. I used to wear hats too. See, I'm wearing a hat with the I dress like I'm sick, but <laughs> hat with the bow on the side, like a little ball. Yeah, that's cute. My piano in the background. Next one, your favorite church girl who's going to church to read her Bible. That's all I can say about this one. Again, I was super skinny, dressed very, I still dress very conservative and modest. This is a bad example, but I do. I still do dress very, I tell my parents, they have, I told them, I said, you know, compared to other girls in my generation, I was like, you guys have a very well-behaved, modest daughter. Yeah. I said that with all sincerity, but uh, <laughs> this is Christmas. <clears throat> I was wearing the button-up cardigan and a skirt, and just this is when we lived in Texas too. So I was like in ninth or tenth grade. Okay, this picture I included it because it's so funny to me, like the backstory behind it. I posted this on Twitter, and I'm pretty sure somebody called me a lumberjack. But it's funny because I was like roast. I was like, what do I look like? So it was spirit day at my school in Texas at Colleen. This is like 10th grade or 9th grade. It was spirit. It was 9th grade. It was spirit day and it was nerd day, which is why I'm dressed like this. But it looks like I was dressed like I was like a dude. And I was not. Like, I only have a tie and a button up. But, oh my God, let's zoom in. And I'm wearing my dad's belt. 
So it was also the day your parents came to school, which is why the picture is even like taken. My mom was taking pictures of me all day. But it's funny because there's another picture. I'm pretty sure it's on my desk somewhere. And it's like me and my friends. And like none of my friends did nerd day. So it was just me. So it also like it's just like I'm walking around school like, oh, yeah, no, she... She thinks she's a dude, but I, and I play basketball. It was just, and I didn't wear makeup yet. And I was very like, I was a tomboy, but like, <laughs> when I look at this, I scream because I'm like, dang, bro, like, dang. This is why guys ain't like you in school, bro. This is why you did it to yourself. But yeah, it's cool. I, I was still chilling though, but this is in French class. Oh my God, it's so funny though. And like in the moment, I saw nothing wrong. Like it's only when I look back at it now. Like in the moment, I wasn't even like, sh like phased. I wasn't embarrassed. I was like proud. I love Spirit Day, but that is so funny. Yeah, I think this one was from like when I first got to Virginia. Actually, yeah, because I screenshot off Instagram and it was like moving to Virginia. So I think it was like once we got to the hotel and we finally made it. Um, there's something that I want to talk about and like I hope I don't get too of my feelings about it but like when I had went back on Instagram my archives to screenshot all my pictures from high school there's this thing that I do and like you probably have noticed if you've been following me for a while and like sometimes I still do it because it's like a forced habit where like when I take a picture I cover my face like this see what I'm doing right now and like I think in the moment I just assumed that it was because I was like oh I like my eyes or something but like when I look back on it I just like vaguely remember where like I really like didn't want I thought my nose always ruined all of my pictures I really used to talk down on myself because of my nose like just to myself like it was never when I'd be with friends I mean sometimes when I am around my friends I will be like oh, I'm gonna get a nose job or like I hate my nose but like I don't know, I I kind of got really sad when I was screenshot. I'll show I'll show something like right now, so you guys know what I'm talking about. But like literally all through high school, I'm just covering my face. Like that is it. I'm I, I'm just covering my face. And I mean I have on cute outfits. My hair is done. I look cute, and I'm going like this, like with a dress on. What the heck? And I think a guy asked me one time in college, like freshman year, when he was on my Instagram, he's like, Oh yeah, why do you cover your face so much? I don't know when the change had happened, but I'm super glad that I got to a point where I really was more open and accepting of my face and my body. And I was like, this is me and there's nothing that's going to change about it. So like, like I never was bullied about my nose. Like I was never bullied. I don't know. It kind of makes me really sad because like I have a nice looking nose. Like my nose isn't ugly. And I just thought because I didn't have like the societal standard of like a cute small nose or something like those European features. I think like in the moment, like in the past, I thought that that was cute. And I thought that like that was liked by more people. And I thought that my nose was ruining my pictures. So I'm kind of sad now because some pictures are ruined because of that. And I'm sad that it took me so long until I got to college to realize that my nose is fine. Like now I might joke about it like I'm going to get a nose job. I'm not going to really get a nose job. I'm not going to get one. But I actually just told my mom about it and be like, I'm going to get my nose done. I'm going to get my nose done. And she was like, well, you have my nose. And like, I literally would still be like, I don't like my nose. I hate my nose. So, Ooh. oh my God. <laughs> I really don't want to start crying. But it's just something and you might even have something that you're super insecure about or you were insecure about and you eventually got past it <sighs> But um Yeah, like love yourself whether it's your eyes or your ears you have big ears or you think your mouth is You have too big a lips or whatever it is you are fearfully and wonderfully made and that is believe that live by that you know, I feel as though I should end this video because I am getting in my feelings and I, I I love like looking at my pictures and like loving myself and roasting myself to know that again like this was just a fun little roast session. I don't know why it got deep. Um, I might do a part two if I find my pictures of myself. I might do a part two with videos like reacting to videos. I'm super awkward and I'm super corny and weird and like goofy so I know if I find old videos of myself y'all are going to be like what were you smoking because I was on some other stuff in middle school and high school and like early college so I might if you guys like this video and if it gets a good like reaction I will definitely be doing a part two like video edition reacting to old videos of myself but um yeah I love my nose I'm gonna end the video with that and this is the end of this video. Make sure you tell your mom, sister, brother, uncle, cousin, mom, dad, stepson, stepmom, stepsister, the kid that you babysit, he can watch. And I will see you all in my next video, which is going to be a summer morning routine. Bye, guys. Hey, guys.
guys, welcome back to my Chanel. Hey guys, welcome back to my Chanel. Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to my Chanel. 